just a thought. Joshua chapter 8 verse 10. And Joshua rose up early in the morning and numbered the people and went up, he and the elders of Israel, before the people to Ai. There is the smell of victory, the taste of victory, the thrill of victory. But victory is only guaranteed so long as we are operating according to thus saith the Lord. In verses 1 and 2, Jehovah spoke to Joshua, telling him to fear not, neither be thou dismayed. He says, I have given into your hand the king of Ai and his people and his city and his land. Lay an ambush for the city behind it. And so Joshua, smelling victory, rose up early in the morning. He carried out the operation according to instructions received from Jehovah himself. And there was the taste of victory. In verse 28 we read, And Joshua burnt Ai and made it a heap forever, a desolation unto this day. The king of Ai was captured and hanged on a tree. Yes, the smell of victory, the taste of victory, but there's also the thrill of victory. In verses 30 to 35, the altar is built. Burnt offerings and peace offerings are sacrificed unto Jehovah. Then there is the copying and the reading of the word of God. He read all the words of the law in the presence of all the congregation of Israel with the women and the little ones and the strangers who were conversant among them. Yes, the thread of victory in worship and thanksgiving and in reading and heeding the word of God. The Apostle Paul says to us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 57, but thanks to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14, now thanks unto God who always causes us to triumph in Christ. Romans chapter 8 verse 37, in all these things, we are more than conquerors, or we super conquer through him who loved us. Yes, the smell of victory, the taste of victory, the thrill of victory, only when we are operating according to thus saith the Lord, and only as we rise up early in the morning.